Welcome to the course on AngularJS. Through this entire curriculum, we are going to discuss one of the newer and more exciting open source JavaScript frameworks out there. AngularJS is created and maintained by Google, and it has a bustling, bright community full of lots of eager developers. I'm really excited about AngularJS because of what it offers in terms of front-end frameworks, about what's new, about where browser technologies are headed. In this course, you're going to learn all of the basics necessary to go from the ground, knowing nothing about AngularJS, into being able to build production-ready applications. I'm going to focus a lot on best practices, things that I've learned while building out Angular applications of my own. I'm going to focus on things that I think are important in terms of what parts of the framework do you need to know versus what things are kind of nice to know. And I've gone through a lot of content written on the web in AngularJS. And so at this point, I have an idea of things that I wish I had been taught first when I was learning AngularJS. And so I'm going to do my best to convey these to you in the most digestible way possible, in a way that hopefully is going to make sense to you, in ways that are hopefully friendly to the beginner. Because after reading all this content, I've realized that AngularJS has a steep learning curve, but it doesn't have to. And so I've organized this course in order to be easy and lightweight and really consumable by you because AngularJS is an awesome language and I want you watching this to get as excited about AngularJS as I am. Without further ado, let's get started.